Hello, welcome to this video tutorial. My name is Johan van Pijnbroek and I'm working for the company iCare. In this video tutorial I will show you how to configure a job for an ODS or a model measurements using the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer. Now, one of the benefits of using the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer is that this is a four channel analyzer, so now ODS or model jobs can be done with the use of a triac sensor and the recommendation here is to use the Emerson triac sensor AO643TX. Now, if you connect this sensor to the CSI 2140, input A is always getting the signal from the physical Z axis sensor of the triax. So that's your channel A on the data collector. Input B is always getting the signal from the physical X axis sensor of the triax. So this is always your B. And input C is always getting the signal from the physical Y axis sensor of the triax, so this will be your C. And the reference sensor for your ODS or model job will be always connected to the D channel. Now, what is very important inside an ODS or a model job is a convention of the orientation and the polarity of your axis. You have a lot of flexibility and freedom and you can customize it and configure it how you prefer to work with that. But during this video tutorial we will only explain you the basics of the convention and show you one example. So if you have your ODS structure and you want to have you want to make an ODS structure on this block for example I just have pointed out five different points where I will want to collect data. On the NODS job you can specify your axis so this is my X, this is my Y and this is my Z. Now in the beginning if you install your track sensor here so in horizontal radial direction and perpendicular to the shaft of the motor. The Z axis of the sensor, so your input A, correspond to the conventional horizontal direction, so is going to be associated with point X in the ODS. The Y axis of the sensor, so your input C, corresponds to the conventional axial direction, so is going to be associated with point Y in the ODS. The X axis, so input B, correspond to the conventional vertical direction, so is going to be associated with point Z in the ODS. Now, this setup is valid as long as we install the sensor here in this direction on all possible points, so also here and here and here, but we have to change the convention as soon as we install the sensor, for example, in another polarity or in another orientation. Now in this video tutorial I will show you now how to configure a job on the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer and in a separate video tutorial we will collect data for those five points and you will see there how to change the inputs. So what you're seeing now in front of you is a home screen of the CSI 2140 machinery health analyzer and the first thing we will do is to create an ODS model job so go to F12 ODS model. Go to F8 job manager and we will create a new job. Okay it has the name job zero if you want you can change it here like you can change any job with f7 we can toggle between ods or model in this example we will configure an ods and here you first have to specify what the input sensor is so go to input sensor and i specify that the reference sensor is 
the fixed sensor is on channel D, it will be on my first point in the X direction with a positive polarity. So now I can configure the triag sensor here, set measurement parameters, and normally an ODS job will contain very often 100 or more data points, but for this tutorial I will measure only 5 points, so I simplify the structure. I will start in point 1. You can toggle between rectangular, cylindrical or spherical systems. Rectangular is a normal XYZ. Cylindrical is a tank and this is a ball, for example. Measurement direction, we will use XYZ. And now for the input, we have to specify here what we have explained in the beginning of the tutorial. So your X is on A, your Y is on C, and your Z is on B. Here you can configure the sensors. So I will work with four accelerometers. Here I will save also the waveforms. And the last thing to do is that I also have to specify how I want to measure. So go to F8 Analysis Setup and here I specify that I want to measure for example till 2000 Hz with for example 1600 lines of resolutions with four averages, no trigger and handing window. That is OK for setup, so I accept it and when you push now once more, enter, you can now finish the job definition and you can activate the job. And now we are ready to collect the data on those five points, but as explained earlier, we will show that in a separate video tutorial. We are now at the end of this video tutorial. Thank you for watching this tutorial. For more information about iCare and our products, please visit our website or drop an email to one of the following emails. Thank you, have a nice day.